What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today being the last day for the free-to-play event here on PlayStation, I kind of got to thinking about some things that I had been seeing a lot of people asking lately and kind of wanted to give a video out there in case any of you guys were looking to pick up the game. And the main thing I've seen people talking about during this event, whether it be forums or in-game in the chat, is ESO+. Plus. And today I want to talk about is it really worth the price? Now, some people get this every single month, um, and it, it is a good deal if you like to keep a lot of crafting materials because it does give you a lot of crafting bag space. It's unlimited. You get it, you can put all the crafting materials you want in there. Of course, you get extra bank space, so it will give you better uh, kind of inventory management because if you are new with one character, inventory management kind of sucks. It, it's hard to get everything or keep everything that you want, so you really have to kind of micromanage all of your items to make sure that you have enough room. And then, of course, bag space up, uh, you know, kind of upgrades, bank space upgrades get very expensive, you know, kind of towards the end when you max them out. In case you do not know, ESO Plus is not a, a thing that you have to have. You can play the game without ESO Plus. I don't always have ESO Plus myself. Some months I do, some I don't. Some players keep it month in and month out. If that's what you like to do, if it's the game you enjoy playing and you want to do that, that is perfectly fine. Like I've said in videos before, Elder Scroll Online is kind of a game that I come back to. You know, I might take a couple months off, go play something else, but it's always a game I come back to and play. I've played it ever since. Like I said, I started playing about five or six months after it was released, and I have played it every year off and on throughout every year since then. So it's something that I will get sometimes, but to me, it's not something that I have to have ESO Plus for every single month. Uh, now, you can purchase this by one month, three months, six months, or 12-month memberships. Uh, now, of course, where I live with tax on the PlayStation Store and all that stuff, and I know it's going to be different everywhere else, it's about 16 bucks a month. I think the yearly price is $130 for a year. One benefit with the more months you get, the more crowns that you get. You do get crowns every uh, for every month that you have. So if you have one month, you'll get 1,650 crowns. Of course, if you buy the year, you're going to get that 1,650 crowns times that 12-month subscription. So that is a big plus you know, a lot of people like to buy things in the store, of course, with those crowns. There are other ways to buy things in the store. Everything in the store is not purchasable by gifting, but a lot of people in-game will gift items. So what they'll do is, if they have the crowns, they will gift the item. You're pretty much buying those crowns or that item from them with the gold. Now, I would not recommend doing this if you do not know the person. All the people that I buy these kind of things from, uh, you know, it's going to be someone I know, someone I know I'm not going to get ripped off because you don't want to give somebody hundreds of thousands to millions of gold and they keep it and not give you the island you're looking for. But like I said, keep in mind, you can do it that way, but not everyone uh, or not everything in the store is purchasable uh, by kind of gifting something. So you can't buy everything with gold in game, if that makes sense, from another player. Also, some other things that you do get, of course, is double bank space, uh, extra progression for like, XP boost, gold boost, uh, of course, boost to your crafting and crafting times, costume dies, extra furnishing spaces for your home, double transmute crystal slots, so you only can carry 100 in the, you know, if you don't have ESO Plus. If you have ESO Plus, you can carry 200. You get exclusive access to Crown Store deals. They'll have things that are on sale for ESO Plus members within the store, and you get access to all the DLC in the game, except for whatever the new big story chapter for that year is so this year it was elsewhere so you will have access to everything but elsewhere and of course depending on what version of the game you have purchased you may already have a lot of this dlc a lot of these versions now come bundled with a lot of the dlcs and that is the version that i had back a long time ago you know of course it was more the original version of the game so what i had done over time was i bought all of the dlcs with gold from someone you know i bought crowns from them with the gold i made in game and that is how i made the you know, or how I purchased this DLC. If you don't do that, the only other option you have is buy it outright with real money or, of course, have ESO Plus. But it's pretty much like you're renting them. So if you don't have ESO Plus, you're not going to have those or have that access to that DLC. And last but not least, like I said, the crafting bag. It is great for inventory management, but if you're not a crafter and you're just now starting out and not picking up a lot of crafting materials, that crafting bag is not a necessity. But if you like to keep a lot of crafting materials, it is a big, big help. And if you do get ESO Plus and it runs out, you do not lose those crafting items. That bag is still there. You can retrieve things from it. You just can't add anything to it unless you're a Plus member. 
Of course, guys, leave me your comments about ESO Plus, and if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.